Now, this brings us to what we call the stinging jinx. If you just hold in a second and we'll see what's happened to him. But basically, Hermione has decided very, very quickly that the only way to rescue Harry from this gang of snatchers is to disguise him. And the only thing she can think of doing at the drop of a hat is this thing called a singing jinx, which basically disfigures him. The problem for us was we have to disguise him enough so that w the audience will believe that the bad guys, the snatchers, will not recognize him. But we've also got to preserve Dan himself. He's giving a very, very intense performance at this point. What I mustn't do is create a mask that filters any of that out. And that's a very difficult and fine line to choose. The thing to remember about a makeup like this is it's not a creature fantasy thing. If you're doing a fantasy monstery thing, you've actually got a huge amount of leeway. You can get away with murder. If you are doing something that has to just look real, and in this case, although it's a magical spell, it's kind of got to look like a medical condition, there mustn't be anything in the application of the makeup or the feel of the makeup or the way it moves that reads artificial or fake or pretend. It's got to look human. And so we did a lot of tests on this. And in this first stage, which you can see at this point here, the only bit of Dan Radcliffe that's real, that's visible in this frame, is his ear and neck and one eyelid, the one furthest away from us at this point. The rest is completely fake. It's a translucent silicon called Platchal. It's been artworked to match his face. At this point in the scene, because Dan's been, if you like, on the run for a while, he has beard stubble. So we've had to put the beard stubble into the fake face. And that's done one hair at a time. And there's a new face for every day of shooting. Now, a scene like this takes many days to shoot. And so a team of people would sit there painting up endless pieces for one shot. He's going to have it by the end of the night. You know who's found the Elder Wand.